Welcome back. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Uh, today we have a familiar face to Greater Brockton. We have Arnie Danielson. Arnie the art man, as I like to call him. Arnie, welcome. Hello, Mark. It's nice to see you. Nice to see and you. thank you so much. Well, thank you for all you do. You've been talking about all of this stuff, and it's gelling very nicely. We have an Art Week Times 4. It's Art Week Times 4, and it is an absolutely wonderful concept. Somebody decided that there was enough going on in town that it needed a little additional pump and support. So to have the work that we've done over these years recognized in this way, magical moment. Absolutely. Magical moment. Well, what do you want to know? Well, um, I know there are all sorts of open studio events. I know there's going to be a closing reception. When you walked in today, you handed me a couple of, uh, oh, I put them in my pocket already. Place. They're in here. They're in my pocket. Um, brand new business cards yep. that, um, uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll put them up later. Um, Brockton Arts, nice red business card and a nice colorful card with your name on it for Gallery 33. Correct. You're very involved over at Gallery 33, and I guess they're going to close out the event, but throughout the whole month, there's good, there are all sorts of things well, happening there. There anyway. were all kinds of things going on anyway. Mm -hmm. The Art Week type times four, the cabal that has put that together, they're focusing on five events mm -hmm. an opening event at Enzo. Yeah. The Open Museum, Open House at Massasoit with Rolly Blanchett. There will be the Brockton School Department Faculty Fine, Fine Art Faculty Art Show at the Driscoll Gallery. There'll be a fashion event at Enzo. I believe that's on the 26th of May. Mm -hmm. And the closing event for this conceptual art week will be at the Stacey Adams Cultural Arts Building. Gallery 33 and the home of Brockton Arts is there also. So we will work with them and the developers on a very gentle open house. We'll work with all of the different artists in the building on a night of open studios and show everybody an absolutely spectacular transformation from a place that had been, let's say it had a reputation. Mm -hmm. It had been a bit troubled. The neighborhood had been a bit troubled. The developers that have taken it over and the arts community that has come together behind it is changing not only the building, but the whole neighborhood. It's wonderful. Well, I lived it's in wonderful. that neighborhood for a while, for a while with the Kennedy family. I uh -huh. rented one of the apartments on Winthrop Street, yep. and that building did have quite the reputation <laughs> now. But from what I understand now, there's all sorts of culture going on in that building. There's dance, there is film, there are rehearsal spaces, there are studio spaces. We have a gallery space. It's a 1,500 square foot gallery. We've got an arts incubator in the basement. There's a lot to show off. We're into our third show right now. Mm -hmm. The, excuse me, we're into our fourth show now. The fifth show will be staged by the day of the 28th. Mm -hmm. And we're showing off everybody. We've made a lot of friends around the city. We've made a lot of friends in the region. And what we're actually working on is a legitimate sense of community pride. And we're using the arts to do it. And we have a wonderful response to all of this. So my fingers are crossed that it keeps rolling. We've all been banging away at this for a fair amount of time, and we now have a sense that you guys have done a wonderful job. Can we help you raise money, and can we help you promote? And that's, thank you very much. Yes, you can. And now we sit down, and you know this is true. The devil is in the details. Who does it? Who do the checks get written to? How does it get distributed? But what we're dealing with here is people playing nicely with one another. In the sandbox. Well, the sandbox thing is It's a big is sandbox now, I'd say. I'm a treehouse guy, okay? Okay, but yes, house. okay but that's good. You are entirely correct. People are beginning to realize again the value of playing well with their neighbors and their friends in public and on purpose. It's how we teach our children how to be civilized. It's how we show our politicians that we all matter and we have hearts and minds of our own. It's how we support our local businesses. This Part of the inception of all of this is the very concept of creative economy. Now, as people have tried to flesh out what that means, all of a sudden it's occurred to them that it's the parking attendants, and it's the security, and it's the caterers, and it's the flowers, and it's the beverage sales, and it's the art sales, and it's the musicians, and the soundboards, and the tents, and the tables, and the chairs, all of those things that help knit together a creative experience and a creative place it all goes apart again like Brigadoon. It all comes together somewhere else and is done again. There are a lot of positive, positive social and cultural things going on all over the city. Now the Art Week Times 4 team is using the Brockton Arts 
calendar to do a bit of their marketing. Now that calendar is an interactive calendar. You can use it, anyone can use it if you want to submit an event. Mm. It has been designed as a clearinghouse for social, cultural, and artistic events. And gently over time, it has been used as that more and more often. So the Art Week Times Four people are using it also, and there are other outlets that will be used, but we are gently knitting our city back together again and our avenue is the arts. Well, I think, it's, I think it's great. I think it's what you've been preaching and talking about for years, and you've brought people together. There are a, other events that month that were already happening, and they're knitted into this, but too, like our wonderful... But, but there are all kinds of things going on. Mm -hmm. People's awareness is really what matters. I've also said in the past, what, when it comes right down to it, I don't care who takes credit. I care that it happens. Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody. Mm -hmm. Let's play well together. I have this resource, you have that resource. We now have all worked together long enough and often enough that we understand one another. And we know what we can and will bring to the table. It's magical. It's magical. I've talked to Gary Leonard and he talked about the, the need for sponsors and how to get in touch with sponsors. Are there need for volunteers to any of these events that are going on? I know there are people that are already in place, but if someone from the general public, especially someone young, let's say, mm -hmm. high school student, college student, whatever, wants to get involved in this event, is there room for that? There is. There is no direct avenue for that right now, but I can speak to that through the Brockton Arts Organization. We have been running writing workshops, poetry slams, open mics and readings, fashion events, film events, festival events for, oh, a long time now, a good 10, 11, or 12 years. If mm -hmm. I add it all up, it's somewhere in the 325 to 350 individual event range in that time frame. Our value is that we've been consistent over time. We have done what we've promised. We have asked permission. We've cleaned up at the end of it. We've said please and thank you. We have now developed a series of young volunteers who are taking leadership roles inside of the different programs. It's everything we could have possibly hoped for. So the answers are yes. Okay. And the answers are yes. Website, phone number, tell us. Okay. Website is brocktonarts.org. Phone number, 508-326-9971. My name is Arnie. I'm the president of Brockton Arts. I field all manner of calls. My email address is acdanielson at verizon.net. Perfect. Thanks for sharing, and we'll be part of all of it. Mark, thanks very much for everything. Same here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.